Find the general solution to the given differential equation 4y double prime plus 4y prime plus 6y equals 0. We, as always, need to create our auxiliary equation or characteristic equation such that r equals the amount of derivatives being taken on y. So we keep the coefficients the same. So 4r squared, 2 for double prime, plus 4r, 1r for 1 prime, plus 6, no r for no prime, equals 0. So it's not very easy to factor this, so we have to quickly go to our quadratic formula. And we have a equals 4, b equals 4, and c equals 6. Fortunately for us, b is even, so we can take a quick shortcut to this formula, where it's negative e prime plus minus square root of b prime squared minus just ac over a. It shortens one step. So b prime equals b over 2, which is 4 over 2, which is just 2. And we can plug that into the shortened formula, where it's minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus ac, 4 times 6, over a, 4. You can plug it into the normal formula just with a, b, and c, and it'll do the same. And this equals minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 24, negative 20. And we keep that 4 there. Solving further, negative 2 plus minus, take out minus 4 times 5, so that will become 2i rad 5 over 4. And we can divide everything by 2, where it becomes negative 1 plus minus rad 5 times i over 2. And this is actually what r equals, and we can kind of standardize the format where r equals 1 half plus minus rad 5 over 2 times i. Because in this situation where r has a complex component, it takes the form alpha plus minus beta i, where alpha is the real component and beta is the coefficient of the non-real component. Obviously from this here, alpha equals negative 1 half, and beta equals rad 5 over 2. In this situation, y homogeneous equals e to the alpha t times c1 cosine of beta t plus c2 sine of beta t. The c's allow for infinite solutions, and since we already have our alpha and beta, we can just plug those straight in. So e to the alpha t is e to the negative t over 2, or negative 1 half t, times c1 cosine of rad 5 over 2 times t, plus c2 sine of the same thing, rad 5 over 2 times t. And that's everything we need. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and good luck.